Howie Severino. I'm a journalist. Uh, I've always been interested in bamboo uh, for so many reasons. For all the reasons that other people are interested in bamboo. It's, it's a beautiful material. It's, it's comfortable. When you use it, I feel closer to nature and I've always been fond of nature. So uh, the bamboo boot camp came at the right time for me. The opportunity to participate um, was perfect uh, for me uh, in terms of its timing because, um, you know, I just semi-retired. I've started to slow down in my job. I just turned 60. I felt I've been cooped up in my home uh, for the past almost two years. Um, you know, haven't really met a lot of people. Uh, I just I just miss my old life. Uh, and we all do. We, we've all missed our old life when we could freely interact and, and meet new people and have uh, new experiences. So uh, the boot camp just um, addressed all of those needs and wants, you know, from the, the very specific one of wanting to learn more about bamboo to just the basic human need for social interaction and having a, a life outside myself and my family. My knowledge of bamboo was more as uh, someone who appreciates it and I could talk about it but in a very superficial way. I ride a bamboo bicycle, I wear bamboo glasses, so I'm, I'm, I'm more into bamboo as a statement but not, uh, I don't have any kind of expertise. I wanted to deepen my knowledge. So I would say, to answer your question, I give myself a three in terms of my prior knowledge. Now I'd probably give myself a seven. So there's still a lot of room for improvement, um, but at the same time, I recognize that I don't, I don't think, I might have added more knowledge, but I think I've added a lot more interest in bamboo beyond the aesthetics. Um, I'm, I'm interested now in propagation. I'm, I'm mostly interested in propagation. I don't think I will, ever go into the furniture business and um, I don't think I will probably be heavily involved in building my own tower but if if I am involved I I'll have I already have a running start um, and if I ever ask anyone to to help build or to build one for me um, I won't be a total innocent. So um, it's it's given me a very useful overview. Let's put it that way. In nine nine days seems like a long time, but it's actually a short time to learn something so complex. Um, you know that's why you take in college. That's why you take a whole semester to learn about a single subject, right? I mean, bamboo you could study it for years and and still feel you're scratching the surface. You're only scratching the surface, but um, here at least, um, I've I think I'm accomplishing what I set out to do, which was to uh, open up new vistas for learning. So I'm, I'm far from done, uh, you know, it's, it's a start, it's a good start. And uh, it's helped me, I mean, it's, it's accomplished so many things for me. It's a great place for bamboo and yet we see that bamboo is underutilized in a place where it can be utilized a lot more. So uh, it's a perfect place to have it and to expose the local people to it. Um, this has been an opportunity for me to um, get out of my comfort zone but at the same time be in another comfort zone. It's not like we're roughing it here, right? Uh, but uh, you know, it's this is really a it's a it's a it's a very pleasant experience. It's very it's almost luxurious, to be honest. But without any kind of guilt, because 
you know, you're, you're actually doing manual labor. I mean, many of us here are, are mind workers and we're not used to manual labor. So we're doing manual labor. We're, we're moving muscles in our bodies that are not normally moved. So we're not just sitting around here chatting and listening to music and, you know, chilling. Um, we're actually getting tired. So um, there's that aspect of it. Uh, that, you know, there's there's the learning, and then there's the bonding, and then there's the experience of just being out of our boxes, our little boxes, and just being exposed to just so many different things. You know, as kids, you work with your hands, but then you know, as you get older, you're you're trained to use your mind a lot more for work, uh, especially my work. Um, although my work's also physical, but. Um, a lot of my final outputs are mostly mind outputs, you know, the writing and then the speaking and the producing and all that. Um, so actually creating something with my hands was very satisfactory and I, I, sh I shared pictures of it with my family and they were like, whoa, you know, they were amazed I could actually do something like that. Uh, my son actually, who's great with his hands, he's a piano player and he does a lot of crafts and he's an artist. He's always kind of looked down on my manual skills, you know, as if I'm not very creative with my... So when he was like almost shocked that I could actually, you know, cr create something. Um, so that made me happy because, uh, you know, it's nice, it's nice to surprise your family with kind of um, accomplishment, right? You miss working with others, you know, collaborating with others. Um, a lot of our collaboration now is being done online. Um, so it's different from having eyeball contact and actually being able to talk to people face to face, um, aside from your family, right? Um, working with others like this uh it's it's different it's um this this should be replicated and maybe i need it less because as i mentioned earlier i mean i've already i've already had a lifetime's wor a worth of this kind of social interaction so and i still miss it right i've had my quota of it but i'm thinking wow younger people you know children i mean your kids they need this they need to be with their peers they need to be interacting with mentors and elders and can't be in the house all the time with screens and all that so it's a good model but it needs to be expanded this kind of environment this kind of activity can help bring back the best of our old normal and retain the best of the new normal which is safer behavior, yes. right? So it can be a model for safe behavior and safety in general while being able to retain the best parts of our, or rediscover the best parts of our previous life, which was learning in a social environment. There's no substitute for this kind of interaction, the eye contact, the, the, the body language, you know the the you know the the accidental encounters over lunch and the CR and walking around and you know um, looking at things, being in a new environment. There's there's really no substitute for that. Yes. It's possible to to have a learning environment that's not online. The advantages of seeing your teacher face to face, seeing mentors face to face, seeing peers because you learn a lot from your peers, you know. So it's, um, so it's really accomplishing um, much of what I set out to do because as I said, I had, uh, to me, I had bigger goals than bamboo here because I was already interested. You can actually learn about bamboo on your own on YouTube, but, but seeing a proof of concept about learning and growth. What I learned was if you process your trauma, your post-trauma emotions and effects properly, there's a huge chance for growth. And that's what I've been 
teaching and, and actually preaching to others because I'm asked to share since not so much anymore because there are almost two million survivors no? but in the first months when I was one of the first survivors one of the first survivors who actually came out publicly because it was so stigmatized no uh, COVID was that's what I was telling people you know let's focus on growth rather than oh am I gonna have permanent damage am I going to die sooner than expected am I we're all gonna die yes but let's try to make whatever time we have left more meaningful diba? Um, and, and for all I know, maybe having had COVID has shortened my lifespan. I, I won't know until I'm dead, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. But, but rather than worry about that, let's make good use of whatever time we have left. And let's focus on growth rather than worrying about, oh my God, is this another symptom? Am I going to die soon? Am I going to get sick again? And is, is it going to be worse the next time, etc.? Let's talk about growth, diba? And what this experience has taught me is that this can be a major part of that growth, not just for an individual, but for communities, for societies, for, for, for the planet as a whole. Because we're, I mean, this is, I think the first trauma in our lifetimes and maybe human history which is shared by the entire world not even World War II was shared by the entire world I mean there were certain countries that were neutral and weren't affected but there's no country that was not affected so we're all in this together so whatever models we're developing here can be shared with other countries other communities so um, that has to be processed as well eh? so you can Kind of bottle it and say hey no matter what you're advocating no matter what you're teaching whether it's bamboo or by buying or math or environmental science or, or, or anything else this can be this is the new model for education where everyone is swabbed you you form a bubble while you're together it's very intense because you live together for two weeks, I mean, after these two weeks, after these nine days, you're, we're all back to our our separate uh, bubbles and comfort zones. But we take the learnings from here, and then we we spread it. It's a completely different. I mean, if we're talking about modules, it's a completely different learning module or model that had to be invented. It had to be invented because we had no choice. It's either we do this or we don't learn together. We're all stuck on, on in front of our screens, like doing what we've been doing for the past year and a half. But we can't. Eh? It's burning us all out. I'm zoomed out, diba? So that's partly why I'm here. Um, I'll continue doing the Zoom, but now that I've experienced this proof of concept, I want to repeat it, not not necessarily as an organizer, but as a participant. You know, I, I thought about my son. He had COVID earlier this year, and I thought he wouldn't make it. Um, and then he got out, and then he had to start college. He had to co start college this way. So, you know, how do you make... I don't care about myself anymore. I'm, you know, I'm... I've had a good life, you know, but how do you, how do we create a life for our children? How do they, how will they learn? They can't, they can't learn from a screen. So, sa akin, yung, yung, yung value nito is, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking way beyond bamboo. Eh. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, as I said, I mean, we, we need to, we need to take the lessons from this and, and experiment on our own because whatever the authorities tell us it's all about obstacles eh? you can't do this and you can't do that and you can't but what is it that we can do it's got to be privately initiated about like this yeah it's got to be privately initiated by by groups by volunteers by families by parents by 
So, ako, ako, personally, I don't need this, really. I mean, I feel I need it, but I, I don't need it as much as the kids. But here, we're all adults here. We're, we're, none of us are really that young. And we're, gaining, <laughs> we're deriving these benefits when, to be honest, we're not the ones in greatest need. I mean, I'm not, diba? Students getting together in an outdoor environment, it becomes, nature becomes their classroom. Which was really the ways of our ancestors. Itong classroom, this is a modern invention. It turns out that it's dangerous. <laughs> and that's why you can't do it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> but then, what, but what the authorities have decided is, if you cannot learn in the conventional, modern way, you cannot learn. Because, so there's no creativity. You have to learn online, which to me is not real learning about a lot of things. How are you going to learn late about nature from online? How can, you, how can you teach this online? You cannot. If you catch them early enough, and then they can be the catalyst, not just for bamboo, but for this kind of learning. Now, hands-on, face-to-face, at the same time, respecting the disease. Yes. But you're not being irresponsible about it. You need to respect the disease and respect each other. But you still get things done. Diba? Uh, for me, yeah, it's worth it. Um, it's just a total... Just getting out of Manila. To be honest, it would have been worth it for me no matter what happened. I mean, if you're talking about the time and the cost. Um, so even if it was not handled well, it would have still been worth it for me. Just to go to Shargao and meet different people, hear different languages, have new experiences. It, we, we're all craving that, diba? Bonus na lang na may natutunan ako. Um, and then may na-expose ako. I, I'm, ganun lang expectation ko eh. So, Cause I have to ma cause I don't want to be disappointed then because I didn't know what to expect. What if what if hindi marunong yung mga nagtuturo dito? What if di pala ganun ko organized? What if wala pa lang tools or you know, some anything can go wrong eh. What if hindi masarap ang pagkain? Sabi ko that will be okay. I already conditioned my mind. It will be okay. There's the beach, there's the ocean, there's Shargao, there's new people. It's Harana. I know about Harana. I've been here before. I'm out of Luzon. I, I'm okay. I'm good. So the fact that may natutunan ako, there are good people here. The food was good. It's well organized. Completo yung tools. Completo yung supplies. Perfect lang yung field trips. We had a nice visit to Dak Dak Daku Island. Which is it? It, ano, it was the right note. Was di naman po ting araw-araw good time, eh, di ba? Uh, that's not the point. But at the same time, kailangan din meron, di ba? So you know, setting aside that day, it wasn't even the whole day. Because in the morning we even had a lecture, di ba? So and then we came back. Was it in the morning? Yeah. See, see, Lucas was in the morning, and in the afternoon we had the legends. So in between we had the beach. So it wasn't like. I thought we didn't take the whole day off. So it was just the right mix of work, learning, soci socializing. Do you call that partying? Um, well, beach, having a good time. So it exceeded my expectations because um, now I'm actually looking forward to going home and looking at the bamboo and meeting with my guys there and and making a plan 